Hi everybody, it's me Lisa and today I am here to share kind of a mixed bag, literally a mixed bag of things that have been sitting <laughs> that need to get put away. Um, I got these some time ago and so I'll get right to it. I got some of these small, small craft balls at Walmart. Also from Walmart, I had gone there to look for eucalyptus like Dawn got, Sylvie Dawn in her um, Michael's haul bag bushes. Um, she got tons of different um, eucalyptus and I really wanted that for projects. So I found some at Walmart. Oh, prices? Mm, none on that one. I got this color, which is different. And I got this little fall colored bush. Um, how much was this? It just says wildflowers. So most of these were in the two to three dollar range, maybe four for some of them. But just look at that bunch, it's so pretty. I'm definitely gonna do something for fall craft with that. If not this year, next year. <laughs> I keep all these flowers that I get in a tub in the garage and just go out there and grab them when I need them. This one has beautiful little blooms on it. Little, what does it say on here? See them. Uh, also from Walmart. these for a little while. I've uh, never seen these before until the day that I found them and I've only seen them at the one Walmart. These are handmade papers. They're embossed. You get 24 of them and they were $9.97. Uh, pricey. But if you consider what you're getting here, these kind of papers are a lot more expensive on other websites and other stores. So that color and then this kind of black, white, silver, they're all embossed. If you can see on the back how highly embossed that one is, gorgeous. I think that might be it from Walmart. Um, I have some things from Tuesday morning that have been sitting, including these Punch Studio. I love that stationery company. Punch Studio file folders in an Africa theme. I love all things Africa. Um, and these were $4.99. Ten of them. Um, I can use these, cut these apart and use them like cut aparts in my journals. Uh, Bow Bunny Christmas Ephemera. These are like the chipboard. And then you get the regular stickers down here. I'm not showing those. I think I might have already shown this one, but if I have, yeah, I did show that one already. Never mind. And then some things have been coming in online and if you deal with AliExpress, or sometimes even Amazon, it can take a while depending on what you order, um, if they're getting it from you know, outside the country. So I got from AliExpress some different buttons. And um, these are just like, I don't know, different natural looking ones. I got feathers. And I glue these in journals. I use them on journal covers. I uh, loop them with thread and hang them from journals. I mean, I, I use these for all kinds of things. I got these that look like stamps. Let me take some out. They have that edging that makes them look like a postage stamp. Mm, I don't know how many is in here, but it's a lot. <laughs> That's all I can say. These little flower ones. I got this pad on Amazon, Nature Scavenger Hunt. 
um, I wanted to use these in my journals. I just think they're so cute. I got some of these library cards in different colors. Um, Amazon. Also from AliExpress, these bookmarks. I use these as journaling cards and inserts in my journals or glue them down as just a pretty element. And I'm not gonna show them all, we'll be here all week, but you get the idea. These are all girls in outdoor settings. So pretty. I love bookmarks. Then I got a variety of these $1.99 stickers from sticker books from Amazon. I've gotten these before and I really like them for journaling. I got this one is Henry David Henry Henry David Thoreau bookmarks. So you just cut these out and use them. Uh, they're not good paper they're on they're gone quality paper I love like this one for fall could put in my fall journal I got the Frida Kahlo 16 of her art stickers oh, that's what they look like I love tea <laughs> which I do I'm not a coffee person at all love these little cute little stickers for someone I'm not going to show. Tiffany bookmarks on this one. And again, you just cut them out. Hmm, what do you know? There's a peacock. I got the happy hedgehogs. <laughs> I adore hedgehogs. Look how cute they are. <gasps> so cute. And then this is the Frida, but not her stickers. This is the cards. So I can take these cards out. And they're white on the back, and I can use them in my journals for journaling cards. This is 12 Garden Fairy Bookmarks in this little book. Again, cut them out, use them in journals. I want to make a fairy journal, and I've been collecting stickers and papers and all kinds of things for that. This is also Garden Fairy stickers, but oh, that was bookmarks. This is stickers. So, there's that. Also from Walmart on clearance, these little llama sticky notepads. Picked up a couple of those for friend mail. Sorry I keep bending down, but I don't know any other way to do it because it's just all kinds of different things in the bag. I got these Graphic 45 Dreamland, I think they're called. Yeah, Dreamland Collection journaling cards from Amazon. I think they were about $8. These came in a while ago. They've just been sitting. These are some little goodies from AliExpress. Just some little angel stickers. Some little pins. Nothing exciting there. And then some girl dies. You have to paper piece. They gave me, oh no, they're different. I'm just gonna say they gave me two of the same. And then these little vintage cards. They have phone messages and looks like laundry receipts and things like that in there. This I couldn't be more disappointed in. <laughs> It's called Sticky Club, and I think I pay ten or fifteen dollars a month. It's ten dollars a month to get stickers from this club, and you choose a category of what kind of stickers you'd like to have. And I clicked retro because I wanted to have vintage stickers. Well, my first allotment, this is what came. I hate skulls. Anything skulls is not for me. So, um. And then you reach inside, and this bookmark is, is kind of okay. Again, it's got the spider webs and the candles and all. I'm not really into that. 
And then we've got the palmistry stuff. There's no way I'm gonna use skulls in frames. I was really disappointed. To me, this isn't vintage, this is goth. I'm not goth, I don't do goth. So you get a little skull patch and other things and I, I couldn't be more disappointed. Um, the second package from this club, it's a monthly thing. I arrived a few days ago and I haven't even looked at it. Oh. Like I said, all in mixed order. From Tuesday morning, I got this penguin soap for the holidays. I wanna put it at my kitchen sink. I just adore it. And the scent is berry icicle. I love berry. I don't really care much for, you know, floral scented soaps or whatever, but fruit scented float soaps are my thing. I love that. Um, another package of bookmarks from AliExpress. And I'll show you what these are. These are kind of um, old world mapish um, kind of things. And uh, vintage looking. I can't even get it open without ripping the box. Let's just rip the box and get it over with. There it goes. So they're like this. Again, for journaling, use them as journaling cards. You can write on the back. I'll put that away later. What a mess. From AliExpress, I got these um, Peter Rabbit stickers. Everybody who knows about my daughter knows that she loved bunnies more than anything else. And so I'm going to use these to Peter Rabbit in journals that I make for her about her. And this is vellum, printed vellum sheets, nature themed. I love those. It's so hard to find vellum things. It really is. This is a background stamp I got from Allie. It doesn't show up very well on the piece of card stuff. There we go. So from my mixed media. Do you ever feel like you have so many crafts that you like to do that you can't get to them all? I know I do. This is another background stamp. We're getting to the end, people. At Walmart, I found this chicken wire type something similar to what Michelle sent me for crafts. Another box of bookmarks, but I was not super happy with these. Um, supposed to be like vintage ads. Um, they don't appeal to me, really. I like this one. And there's a little boy in a wagon one, I think, that I've used. I mean, these patriotic ones and all. They're just not for me. I'm not going to be using those. From the pictures, it looked like a lot of them that I would use. And they have a little decoration on the back. Um, there's a few in here I'll use. And the rest I'll probably give away if someone wants those. If I find someone who likes those. Also at Walmart, I got these markers. They were like $2.50. They're the per, uh, pen gear permanent markers, fine tip. I love to color, and so I'm going to try these. I got these fairy postcards, and they're all different, I'm sure. And I got those for making a fairy journal and making, you know, things for my daughter, for her journals.
sorry. Okay, I'm down to the bottom from Walmart also. And Snoopy Peanuts Encouragement Notes. I love anything peanuts. And I would planning to use these for journaling cards. You can write on the back a little inspirational quotes. Give giving thanks for you. Um Rejoice and be glad. Just nice little inspirational ones. I like those. And this stack of encouragement notes. I think these were $3.50. I'm pretty sure. And these little cards, again, I can use for journaling cards. And they have really nice little inspirational things in it. These are more faith-based. Um, His overflowing grace will see you through. He is here for you and I am too. So you can send these, they're meant to be sent out, but I'm gonna use some of them for journaling cards. Um, another pack of bookmarks that I haven't even opened from Allie that are little bunnies in honor of my daughter. Some little mushroom stamps, and you can't see those. I'm not mushroom. Little house stamps. Assorted dies. Teacup that has a sloth. I'll be cutting these and showing you coming back with those. A lot of these are the same ones Tina Kazarian has showed. I, I got the ideas from her. Thank you, Tina, for making me get more dies. This is a little bunny on skates that I'll do. This is a Raggedy Andy. Raggedy Ian. And a different Raggedy Ian. So you really can't tell what those look like, but I will show you. Am I near the end? Okay, so the other club that I do is called Paper Cherries. And wait one second. I thought I saw the other sticky club thing, but I guess I didn't. Um, I need to open that and see if it's anything um, that I like. And if it's not, I need to go back to that sticky club and click out of retro because I'm not goth. So this paper cherries, you get a little kit like this once a month for $15. And I think it's overpriced, but it is a very cute idea. This is the one that I got for October for Halloween. I'll show you what all came with it. A little pack of these skeleton cameos. I'll be getting rid of those and skulls. Nope. Um, a stack of cute Halloween straws. I'm gonna make wands. Some really kind of neat um, black and orange gems. Now I do like those. You usually get a little tube of confetti, little sequins. And also this month included were little skulls. No. So I have friends who like that type of thing. They'll be getting it. If they don't want it, they can get rid of it. I just, I'm not into that at all. The sugar skull thing, I don't know what the phenomenon is with that, but more power to them. Okay, let me see, I think this might be it. Because I'm reaching in here and I'm seeing things that I've already shown. So that's gonna be it for, excuse me, for this video. Um, different things from different places. It's kind of a grab bag today. I hope everyone's doing well, and I hope you'll join me for uh, some glue book flip throughs that I'm preparing to do, and also uh, my fall journal as I finish that up. Have a great day, everybody. See you next time. Bye.